I'm a tour guide and I want to show you the best way to see all main attractions of Athens, Greece. This Athens itinerary gives you the best experience as it allows you to see the most attractions in the shortest amount of time. Everything is clustered around Acropolis, a rocky hill with temples that were the most important religious center of ancient Athens. That is why a rocky outcrop right next to Acropolis is the best starting place to get a sense of Athens as it offers spectacular views. According to legend, on this very spot, the 12 gods of Mount Olympus founded the first court in history. This historic spot remains to be popular to this day as it offers great views of Acropolis, the city center and the entrance is free. Right under the Areopagus rock is the heart of ancient Athens known as Ancient Agora. This archaeological park was the most important meeting place of ancient Athens and includes a marketplace, a central square and many temples, altars and shrines. Here, the most important political and social events took place as this was the birthplace of democracy. Inside the archaeological park are also the best preserved temple in Greece and Agora Museum housed in the reconstructed covered walkway that served as a marketplace. East of ancient Greek Agora is few centuries younger Roman Agora. When Romans were in charge of Athens, their newly built market square took over many of commercial functions of the Greek Agora, which had become something of a museum by that time. Only a small portion of the columns are still standing, but you can also admire the well-preserved Tower of Winds that functioned as a timepiece and is considered to be world's first meteorological station. Roman Agora is part of the Monastiraki, charming neighborhood full of ancient monuments and lovely views of Acropolis. In its heart is Monastiraki Square, one of the most popular meeting points of Athens. The neighborhood and square are named after a small Orthodox monastery that used to stand here. What's left of the monastery is one of the oldest Byzantine churches dating to the 10th century. Every weekend, the neighborhood hosts the biggest flea market in Athens. But also during the week, this is one of the best shopping areas as streets are lined with numerous small shops. Use a metro station on Monastiraki Square and in about 5 minutes you will find yourself on the most important square of modern Athens. Syntagma Square is dominated by a parliament building and under it is a monument of the unknown soldier. It's guarded by a presidential guard famous for its uniform with skirts and for its very unique changing guard ceremony that happens every day and every hour. Changing of the guards is performed in a peculiar manner as it's done in extreme slow motion. If you have the time for a deep dive, you should come here on Sunday at 11 am when a much more impressive ceremony takes place accompanied by a big parade and a military band. You can take a walk through the park to get to the only stadium in the world built entirely out of marble. Originally, the Stonemate Stadium was built for religious and athletic festivals that took place every four years to honor the goddess Athena. But six centuries later, it was rebuilt in marble by the Romans. Over the next centuries, the stadium became forgotten and abandoned until in the 19th century it was excavated and renovated. This stadium then hosted the first modern Olympic Games. Now it's used for a ceremony where the Olympic flame is given to the host of the Olympic Games and it also houses a small but interesting museum. On the other side of the park are the remains of what was once the biggest ancient Greek temple. Unfortunately, 16 gigantic columns are all that's left from the home of Zeus, head of the Olympian gods. The temple featured the largest statue of the ancient world, but only 100 years after the completion it was destroyed. Over the centuries, it was taken apart piece by piece and reused for building materials around the city. You can take a walk under Hadrian's Arch to get to the slopes of Acropolis. There is one of the most picturesque, interesting and the oldest neighborhoods in Athens. It feels more like an old village than part of Athens as pedestrian cobblestone streets are lined with cafes, restaurants and numerous souvenir shops. On every corner you can find archaeological treasures, ancient monuments, beautiful neoclassical buildings and small churches. You will also notice numerous simple taverns as they spread their tables on the streets. Charming taverns are perfect place to experience typical Greek dishes. You should try dolmades, wine leaves stuffed with herb and rice mix and shaped into little rolls. Here is also famous moussaka, a layered casserole style dish made with layers of vegetables and meat topped off with creamy bechamel sauce. 
And with almost every meal you can order tzatziki, a refreshing yogurt sauce mixed with cucumbers, olive oil and fresh herbs. And for dessert you must try locumades, donut-like, deep-fried bowls soaked in hot honey syrup and sprinkled with cinnamon. Mmm. Now you can burn those delicious calories by going uphill to the northern slopes of Acropolis. Right under the top are twisting narrow streets with gorgeous views. They are lined by small, whitewashed houses with colorful doors and windows. This is definitely the most picturesque quarter of Athens. It was built by the stonemasons from the island of Anafi, who moved here in the mid-19th century when Athens needed workers for its big construction projects. Descend to the longest pedestrian pathway in Athens that runs around the southern slope of Acropolis. There you should visit one of the world's top archaeological museums. In modern building, hovering over Roman and Byzantine ruins, you can admire every artifact found on the site of Acropolis and its slopes. The top floor is designed on the same axis as the Parthenon and has the same dimensions to display the entire frieze of the temple with the real Parthenon always in plain sight. Just a few steps from the museum is an entrance to the slopes of the Acropolis, an archaeological site that extends around the sacred rock. This was the second most important religious center of ancient Athens, as there are many remains of different sanctuaries and sacred caves. Here are the remains of the Theater of Dionysius, one of the world's most ancient theaters where Greek drama was born. But the best preserved structure on the slopes is a Roman theater, still used for various music and cultural events. Walking up the slopes will finally get you to Acropolis, the most impressive landmark and the very symbol of ancient Greece. A complex of marble temples on a rocky hill is commanded by its biggest temple, Parthenon, dedicated to Athena, the patron goddess of the city. Parthenon and other buildings of the Acropolis were built during the Golden Age of Athens in the 5th century BC and are considered the most important surviving buildings of ancient Greece. They are regarded as the symbol of democracy, Western civilization and one of the world's greatest cultural monuments. Be aware that the timings in this itinerary don't include the time spent in queues. Still, if you stick with my quick visit plan, you start early, skip lunch and buy tickets online, it is possible to see everything in one very long summer day. On the other hand, the deep dive plan allows you to properly explore the sites. By adding time for lunch, drinks and coffee, you should plan for two or three days to properly see all main attractions of Athens. In both cases, I would recommend you to buy tickets online and I'll put the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. But before you go to Athens, you should also check this video.